What up guys, it's Bit Forever. I'm Maui from Kyrie Blue Photo and Video. And I just wanted to do a tutorial today. I haven't done a tutorial in a little bit, but today I was like, you know what? I really want to do this tutorial. I teased it the other day and I really love this trailer of Brightburn and I wanted to do this scene. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was pretty cool. I love it. I love everything about this trailer. It looks great and I love an evil Superman. So let's get to this tutorial and I know you guys are wondering, but the beard, it is CGI. All right, so, so yes, the beard is real. That's crazy, I know. I couldn't believe it either. So we're here, we're here at Hit, with HitFilm Express and here we have a clean plate and that's what I want to let you guys know. When you guys do things like this where you're not going to be in the scene for too long, make sure you have a clean plate. I have forgotten this before and yeah, it sucks. But have a clean plate and also make sure that you have your little actress or actor flying around you could either take a picture or you and mask it out or i went the easier route and did green screen i also tried to do green screen with this one but as you can see i wasn't very smart i cut my knees down from there Fail. So, i didn't do the green screen so i have to mask everything out which rotoscoping is not my favorite thing in the world Oh no god no god please no no all right so go ahead and write go ahead and write up here go to new composite shot and call it you can call it anything i usually just put main video and hit okay all right so let's start with the plain shot so this is going to be the background so, I'm going to set point here, and before I walk in, I'm going to set point there. Bring it down, and I'm going to rename this to main background shot. And I'm also going to change the color. This is a nice new thing that they've had for a little bit, and I love it. So whenever I start editing, I know, and duplicating this shot, because we will be duplicating the shot, I will know which ones are the different ones. So from here, I'm going to go to myself now, same video, and I'm going to see where which one I like. Let's see. Uh, hey, where's Kyrie? I like that one the most. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those hops. So I want to get me looking all confused where Kyrie is. And I want to get hit. See how I'm kind of getting hit right there. Boom. So I'm going to bring that in. Rename this to Main Maui, which that is my name if you don't know. And I'm going to now composite or mask myself, which isn't fun. So now I'm gonna go forward to where I get hit. Get hit right about here. So I'm gonna cut this. And to keep this so I don't disappear, I'm gonna go to speed. Put in speed in this new shot right here, which I'm going to rename to Nest Maui. And I'm going to go to speed and put it to zero. Now, when I stretch it out, I will just be there. Also, I'm gonna mute it 
so you can't hear anything after. So from here, I'm going to mask myself. You could either make another composite shot. Yeah, I tried to do this earlier and it worked out pretty good, but I'd rather just composite it right here in the main timeline. But you can, if, if you don't want to do that, you can make a composite shot and just you know composite it somewhere else. So make sure you hit your masking freehand tool, click the video, and then just start masking. And we should be fast forwarding this because this is the most boring part. thousand years late finally done Ugh, can't stand it make sure that the masked maui or your mass actor is above and then once you click on it you're going to be able to move it around look look at me i can fly and you can move it around the thing that sucks about not doing the green screen is now i'm just a flat person so if you can do green screen you can have movement while you get hit or anything else that you want to do with it so that's the benefit of the green screen this if i wanted to rotoscope me moving that would take a long time and as you know i hate rollers rotoscoping not roller skating i like roller skating but all right so now that's done and one of the problems with this is when i get hit i don't want to be in front of this wall so what i want to do is dupl duplicate the main background shot twice I'm gonna change this to right, to change the name to right background. And then change the name to this one to left background. Oh, I don't know why I just did that. I don't know how to read anymore. All right, so I'm gonna click on the right one, make sure you're clicked on it, and I'm gonna mask it out again. And I also wanna change the colors to this. So I'm gonna change it to tomato and change that to blue. All right, so I'm gonna mask this out. This one's gonna be a lot easier. Go around the couch. What's to do? So now that's mass, and that's the right one. And then go to left background and do the same thing on this side. Make sure you have your masking tool on, and then go for it. Go for it. Oh, this one's so simple, I love it. All right. Always save. I can't tell you. Always save. Okay, so now that's done. And then now when I move my actor, it's still gonna be in front because I have not put the mask on top. So, what you wanna do is put the right background above your mask Maui, and your, leave your main background there, and then do the left background also on top. So now when you move your actor, look, I can see you. I'm behind, <laughs> boom. All right. So now we did that. So now let's do the fun part. Kyrie! So here's Kyrie on the green screen background. Let's see how cute she is. Get your baby! <laughs> so this one we can make into a composite shot. Make into composite and do Kyrie green screen. Made it a little bit brighter. So I want to make this a little bit more brighter so it fits the scene more. And then I'm going to look for the green screen key. If you have the chroma key, it works even better. 
and just put that in there. Also, you see how there's all this right here? So I'm going to mask again. It's a nice mask. Keep it kind of above her. Just mask out where the green screen is. Now you have that. Go to the color difference key and then go to 0.95. But you can play with it as much as you want. I went to 0.95 because that's where it's at. And then... And then, you know, play around with the gamma and just try to take all of it away. So this is pretty good. Okay. So now we have that and all. So now let's go back to the main video. So here we're back at the main video. And then I'm going to bring our Kyrie green screen back in. Put it right here. <gasps> And now she's giant. So I'm gonna turn these off so I can see Kyrie. And you know, she's looking this way and I want to go to my right. So I'm gonna click on her and switch this around. Look at her flip. Now I'm gonna make her a little bit smaller. Go to transform, go to scale. Just make it a little bit smaller. So about there. And I want her to be right here. All right, so from here, we're going to start keyframing. So where do I get hit? So this is where I get hit, boom. So right here, I want Kyrie to move. So I'm gonna click on Kyrie. And I also want to cut out this part and click on Kyrie, go to transform, make sure this is clicked position. And so from right here, I want to be right there. until her feet are gone. See, it looks just like that. So that's how it looks without doing mostly anything. So let's now do me. Boom. So I'm getting hit right here. So now go to Mask Maui, or Main Maui. Sorry, Mask Maui. And go to Transform and do the position here. So my position's right there. She's moving, so I'm gonna move a little bit. She's still moving, and I'm gonna move a little bit. One more time. Put my hand right there, and then I'm gone. Here, I'm gonna start adding things because it looks fine. I mean, kind of. It looks okay when it's in full screen, but it still doesn't look great. So, from here, I'm gonna add an angle blur. So, adding an angle blur, so let's start with me. I'm gonna start looking like this. So, as she's hitting me, you see how I get blurry? So I want to change it to clamp to edge, take that off. And since I'm going this way, I want the blur to go this way. And as I'm leaving, I'm going to put up the length a little bit more. Like this. And then boom. I'm gone. And then for Kyrie, 
do the same thing. Go to angle blur. So I want hers to be blurry too, but not too blurry. That's I think video I put up I made that mistake. So you kind of see her. But I want her to be a little bit less blurry. So again, play with the length, play with the angle for what you want, and then it should look like this. So that's the final product. Just add in your curves, your color scheme, everything that you want to do for your grading. And also, once your music is there, once the hits are there, it's going to look more like this. Where's Kyrie? Guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I really do. And if you guys want to see more of that, please comment down below. Tell me what VFX you want to see from a trailer or from a movie. Also, you know, we're rebranding this channel to Kyrie Blue Photo and Video. We do editing, we do videography, we do photos, anything that you guys could think of, we do. So if you guys need anything, any help, please message us at kyriebluephoto at gmail.com. Also, subscribe, like, and comment, because why wouldn't you? Because look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, it's beautiful. But thank you for everything. It's quiet in here. Nicole and Kyrie are not here. And Kyrie not interrupting me makes me kind of sad. Really, really, really sad. So I'm going to go now. Bye.